beginner but it's something we all have to go through to get to the fun stuff and hopefully if you're watching this you've mastered water starts can ride up wind and are getting to grips with sliding turns well now it's time to truly open your eyes to kite surfing and all it has to offer as an intermediate kite surfer the opportunities to expand your skills are more open than any other time in kite surfing this video is here to help you transition from beginner to intermediate, filling in all the gaps in your knowledge that often require years to accumulate. It's all about making you an international kite surfer, giving you the confidence to turn up in a new location and get out there and ride, making the most of whatever the conditions have to offer. You're ready to start pushing yourself and learning your first tricks which ultimately will lead to what all new kite surfers aspire to, boosting huge jumps. And now the basics are behind you, it's worth taking a little extra time to understand more about how your kite really works and get the most from it. We've developed a style of instruction that has been popular throughout our progression series of videos. It's all based around breaking down the complexities of what we're trying to learn into more focused, easily identifiable and memorable parts. For tricks, this means rather than jumping in and trying to teach you a complex trick in one go, we instead build you up to the end goal by focusing on simpler tricks in the earlier progressions allowing you to gain the skills and confidence that will make the further progression so much easier. We'll round off most chapters by looking at where you'll go next with the trick. In these progressions, we start with our slow motion first run through. This briefly highlights the key points. Then we focus on the relevant key elements, what your board and legs should be doing, how your kite and bar fit into the trick and how your head and shoulders affect your movement. Finally, each progression will give you the common mistakes, so you can easily spot the ones you're making and find the solution. This video contains several chapters that are focused more on technique and understanding, like light wind riding or tuning the kite. Here we still break everything down, but the structure is not so rigid. If you've watched our beginner movie, then you know we don't like to rush through the techniques we describe. And here is no different. The small details are essential. So in this video, we'll split the content into three sections. Up first is location and conditions. You may have learned at a different beach and probably stuck to the ideal conditions to make learning the basics the easiest. So now we need to expand your horizons. We start with the bane of many people's kite surfing life, light winds. You may think that it's all the same, but the subtle differences in technique and some unlikely theory will give you a way more productive time on the water. Then we give you some tips on how to ride in strong winds and overpowered conditions. This can be scary for newbies, but four simple tips will make this some of the most fun kite surfing you can have. Next, it's some pointers on getting out when there is shore break and waves to contend with. This scares off a lot of kiters, but once you gain a little confidence, you'll be wishing for those same waves to arrive. Next up are the tricks. 
And these three will be the foundations of so much of what you'll do in the future. We kick off with toe side riding, something that everyone is capable of having a go at. And though it may feel strange at first, it will become something you do every session, however good you get. Then we build on this straight off with carving turns, both starting off toe side and carving onto your heel side, and then heel side carves to toe side. These simple change of directions will again be the basis of so much of your riding in the future. And finally, we have jumping. This mammoth chapter is longer than the whole of most other instructional DVDs. We start with small manageable jumps, gentle kite movements, all the key elements and a magnitude of inevitable common mistakes. Then we give you the tips to start making those jumps bigger and bigger. We round off your jumping by ruling out the kite, focusing solely on edging technique and getting you started on the art of progressive popping. Finally, our third section is all about your kit. You can be held back from improving simply because your equipment is not set up correctly. Wind and water conditions sometimes require you to play a little more attention to how your kite and ball actually work. And it's easy to waste valuable time standing on the beach, working out what line affect what aspect of your performance. The tuning section will run through all the common scenarios where you might be experiencing problems with your kite and the clear steps to get things set up correctly. This is an exciting time in your kite surfing progression. So waste no time, jump to the part of the video that grabs your attention, soak up some ideas, and then get out there and give it a go.